Hello everyone, Donnell HD here, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Sega CD platform using the Fusion emulator on LaunchBox. As you can see, I have my arcade folder here, I have my LaunchBox folder, I have my ROMs folder where I'm going to be holding the ROMs, and the emulator is where we're going to be installing Fusion. Now there are a few things that you're going to need. The first is the Fusion emulator. I'm using version 3.64, and I got it from emulatorzone.com. I also left a link in the description below for the necessary files that you're going to need to run this Sega CD platform. Once you click on the link, just click on the download button here. I downloaded these files to my desktop because that's where I'm going to be extracting them into my emulator folder. Now that the files are downloaded, I'm going to open my arcade folder here. And I'm going to drag the contents of the Fusion 3.64 file and drag that into the emulators folder. I'm also going to go into the Fusion emulator folder and I'm going to create a folder called BIOS. Now I'm going to take the contents of the Sega CD Necessities folder and I'm going to drag these three items into the BIOS folder. Now I'm going to run the program for the first time. The first time you load the program up, for all my Windows 10 users, when you make it full screen, there's usually a display error. I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. So, first thing you should do is close the program up. Once closed, there should be a configuration file right here on the folder. Just right click and hit edit. And then with the image that I've just showed on screen, I want you guys to put the same settings on that picture here. So, it looks like I just need to change force full screen 32 to 1. And then once you've done that, you're going to hit file and save as check all files and then hit save it's gonna ask you do you want to overwrite say yes close the text file up and you're done now we're going to configure fusion so we're gonna open it up now we're gonna to go to options we're gonna uncheck this show FPS thing because we're not gonna need that this isn't a really beefy system so you should be fine now I'm also gonna to go to set config and go to the Sega CD tab and with those files that I got you to get earlier I want you to go to browse here and I want you to take it to the directory where your BIOS are so I'm going to select my US file for this one for the Jap I'm going to select JP for the EUR I'm going to select EU once you have those files, you should be good. Click apply. Now go to controllers. And I'm going to configure the controller now. So go to define. And down here is the prompts for you to press the keys that are asking you to. So I'm going to press the up key, down, left, right, my A button, my B button, my C button, my start, my X, my Y, and my Z and I won't be using mode so I'm going to push escape here now we're going to go to video and we're going to go to full screen resolution and I'm going to change my resolution to 1920 by 1080 you can change yours to whatever your monitor is so in my case I'm going to go to 1920 by 1080 now that I've done that I'm going to close this program up and now it's time to set this program up in LaunchBox Okay, here we are in LaunchBox, and now it's time to set up the emulator. So the first thing we need to do is click on these three lines here at the top left corner. I'm going to click that. Tools. Manage. Emulators. I'm going to click Add. We're going to change the emulator name to Fusion, and we're going to set the path. In my case, again, it's on my desktop. Arcade. Emulators. Fusion. And click on the EXE. I've also created a script in the description below if you guys require it. This means when you press the escape key, it'll escape out of the emulator in launch box or big box. I'm gonna paste it right here in my running script area. I'm gonna click OK. Also, make sure your associated platforms is set to Sega CD. Check this box here. Now I'm gonna click OK. Now you can click close. And now it's time to install the games. Now sometimes you may come across situations 
where you have different ROM files that have different formats. Some may be ISOs, some may be BenQ. In my case, I have one Q file and I have two ISOs. When you do that, sometimes you have to install them separately. So I'm going to go one by one here. The first one is Road Avenger. So I'm going to go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to add the file. Road Avenger here. It's a Q file. Now I'm going to click Next. The platform that I'm importing it for is Sega CD. I'm going to click Next. I want to manually configure my emulator. I'm going to select Fusion. Next. I'm going to use the files in the current location. Next. Images. Next. Next. And next. Make sure that my game is spelled correctly, which it is. And now I'm going to click Finish. As you can see now, it's installed in the game. Road Avenger is now installed, and now I'm going to follow the same rules for the other two games, which are Final Fight CD and Willy Beamish. Now I'm going to fast forward here a little bit because you've already seen this process. Final Fight's installed, now the final game. Okay, now all three games are installed, and I'm going to run Final Fight. I'm pressing Alt and Enter on my keyboard for full screen. It'll save that configuration when you escape out of the emulator. And here's a little Final Fight CD gameplay. And here's a little Willy Beamish gameplay. You suck up the whole joint. Now I'm going to rearrange your fate. Sorry, man. And that, guys, is the end of our video. Thank you guys for watching the video. If this helped you out at all, please drop a like and subscribe. As always, I'm DynaLHD, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.